everyone. Welcome to Shell Point today for Monday, November 2nd. I'm Adam Brown. On today's show, we'll hear from the Legacy Foundation regarding an upcoming event about theft and investment fraud happening Thursday. And Greg Pindara will update us on some menu changes at the Crystal Dining Room. But first, we wanted to let you know that tomorrow is the first day for Photo Club President Herb Sklar's new exhibition in the photo gallery, located in the photo studio in the Island Tunnel. His show is entitled Still Life with Red Accent. Herb says these photographs depict everyday objects in a bold and fresh way. The show continues on Tuesdays and Thursdays through December 10th. Speaking of photography, are you interested in learning more about this fascinating art form? The Photo Club meets this week on Thursday at 2.15 p.m. in the Social Center on the island. If you like, you can bring an 8x10 photograph on the topic Water and or Reflections for the Critics' Wall. This will be a new category in the 2016 Photo Contest and Show, so this is your chance to see what others think of your creative work. You can also learn about and sign up for this month's Naples Zoo field trip. On Wednesday, there is a Do You Know Your Neighbor event featuring the country of Turkey. Have you traveled there? Are you interested in its culture? Connect with fellow Shell Point friends and share stories about the exotic country of Turkey. Light refreshments will be served. That's at 2.15 p.m. in the Social Center on the island. There are any number of nefarious people out in the world who would like to separate you from your money. Some of them have become very clever at fooling folks into helping them do it. The Legacy Foundation is sponsoring an event on Thursday of this week aimed at helping to keep this from happening to you. Here is Jeff Corey to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Terry Colath. I'm here today with Jeff Corey, Executive Director of our Legacy Foundation here at Shell Point. Jeff and Mary Moore have planned an amazing seminar for us to look at fraud, the whole big picture of fraud, and we'd like you to join us. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Terry. Well, I know that we get fraud information left and right. It's almost, um, we almost stopped hearing it because there's so much fraud information. Yet, we know that Florida is number one for identity theft among 50 states, and we know seniors are a very vulnerable population. So we're going to look at the whole big picture in this seminar. That's right, Terry. We're fortunate to have the uh, Sheriff's Office. It's going to be a part of our program. Uh, many people see, I think, the most famous uh, face in Lee County, Sheriff Mike Scott, will be here. Right. And uh, so we're looking forward to an exciting program talking about not only identity theft, but other ways that people prey on seniors. Uh, the phone is a big thing. Um, our residents, uh, you know, get calls all the time. They get things in the mail. Uh, we have a service here at Shell Point in our Legacy Foundation where we receive a lot of mail for residents. And daily, our residents are bombarded by schemes and, and people looking to take advantage of seniors. So we're going to be talking about a lot of different things. Well, I think the thing that's so terrifying is the, the way minds are working now with technology. They're constantly thinking of new new ways to get information from us sure. so that they can get our um, so they can get access to our finances and, and personal information. New words are coming up in our language, phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. It's almost like we have a huge responsibility to protect ourselves. No, we sure do. And fact, how do we do that? Well, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I got called by a resident who thought that someone had got into his brokerage account and talk, taken all of his money. And uh, so I ran over to his apartment and checked everything. He just didn't have the, the correct PIN number to get into his oh. account. Um, but a lot of our residents, we see them walking around with iPads, and yeah. they're on the Internet, and they're doing things and you know, visiting websites that may not be uh, upright. So there's a lot of things. It's just to be vigilant. Right. Um, you hear you know, even security people, people that run security firms, say there's nothing that you can do 100% to keep your identity and keep your information private. But we're going to give lots of helpful hints at this seminar. That's all we can do is be aware. Right, mm -hmm. right. The other thing is we're having a Chris Vernon, who's an attorney from Naples, mm -hmm. uh, specializes in investment fraud. Mm -hmm. And we often think of Bernie Madoff and you know, someone that takes our money you know, out of a brokerage scheme or a Ponzi scheme. Uh, but there's things, too, that brokers and financial advisors do, like churning accounts and unsuitability with investments. There's lots of things like that. So Chris is going to come and talk about you know, ways to keep uh, abreast of your, your accounts and your brokerage accounts, and is your broker doing right for you and that sort of thing. So it'll be a neat part of the seminar as well. So, so I guess the thing that we take away from the planning that you and Mary put into this 
and we try to incorporate in our description of this presentation, is that we can't be foolproof, but we can be aware. We can't be just scared, but right. we can be motivated, you know, to, to not answer the questions that come to us That's on internet right. or on the phone. Sure. Um, and why? And to have experts like our own Sheriff Scott, he must be on the front line of um, you know, seeing how some of these things work. Yeah, it's going to be uh, not only informational, but very educational and very entertaining, I'm sure, with him being there. Um, and it's just an you know, exciting program to be able to bring to Shell Point residents. We're all about financial security and making sure our residents are safe. And uh, so it should be a great time. It should. Well, I'd just like to encourage you. We know that this is a very current and very important topic. So we've reserved the Village Church Auditorium. So feel free to join us, invite your friends and family. And it is going to be Thursday, November 5th, 1015 Village Church Auditorium. Jeff and Mary will be there. Sheriff Scott will be there. And so will some other guests, including Chris Vernon, attorney with Vernon Litigation Group. We hope to see you there with us. Every year about this time, Shell Point's population grows dramatically. I'm not talking about the good job our sales department does. I'm talking about all of our snowbirds who fly back down here as the temperatures plummet up north. And that means many more mouths to feed. Greg Pindara is on top of it and is making his usual adjustments at the Crystal Dining Room. Well, we have some exciting things happening over here at the Crystal on the island as they have their fall and winter menu in effect right now. Uh, and as a lot of you are coming back from up north, uh, they're really ramping up the buffet menu. And Greg Pandara is here. He's going to tell us all about the changes and the great things that are going to be on the menu uh, coming up in November. The snowbirds are coming back and we're glad to see them. And we are going to start going back to five nights of buffet starting November the 2nd. The buffets are going to change just a little bit. We've had uh, some decreasing participation in some of them, so we're switching things up to something that we think may go. This year, starting November the 2nd, on Monday night, we are going to keep the old home cooking, because that's been very, very popular even through the summer. That's one of the buffets that we kept for the summer. Uh, the stir fry and the Italian night are the two buffets uh, that decreased in participation over the last two years. So this year on Tuesday night, and a lot of people are going to be happy to hear this, uh, everybody loves when we carve turkey. So every Tuesday night is going to be a turkey buffet. We will have carved turkey every Tuesday night for the fall and winter. There will be another entree on the buffet besides vegetables and starches. Um, this buffet will come with soup, salad, the buffet, and the small dessert. On Wednesday night, we are going to try an international night. We're going to start out with Asian, Italian, Irish, French, and Germany. One country each week. On that night, there will also be a American entree on the buffet in case someone does not like the food from the country. That also will come with soup, salad, the buffet, and a small dessert. On Thursday night, our most popular night, we are going to stay with the crystal carving board. We will be carving a different meat each week in a five week rotation. And as usual, that will come with soup, salad, the buffet, and of course, the most important thing, the build your own ice cream sundae bar. On Friday, we are going back to the seafood buffet. That is very, very popular on Friday nights. So be ready for soup, salad, fried shrimp every Friday like we had in the past, an assortment of seafood, and a dessert buffet, a full dessert buffet. Again, this starts Monday, November the 2nd. And I'm glad to see most of you are back and I expect to see you in the dining room for one of these fabulous buffets. Uh, a lot of things happening starting November 2nd here at the Crystal, so come on out. And now let's take a look at today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections, right after this Listening to the Words preview from David Howenstein. This week's Listening to the Words program is about children and parents. 
and the challenges faced by both. A man remembers taking care of two-year-old Ariel and seeing what an effort it is just to be for a couple of hours. A young father says, if a child wants to know who she or he really is, just put race, religion, economics, IQ on one side of the scale and your parents on the other. There's no question which way the scale will tip. Also, hear a phone conversation between a grandson and his granddad who's trying like the Dickens to get ready to move to Florida. And hear some middle school football players making sure a learning disabled kid makes a touchdown. All that and more are yours every day this week on Listening to the Words. David Howenstein reminding you that the same half-hour program repeats twice each hour, except three times on Tuesdays and Thursdays, when you can catch replays of Sunday's Village Church service. Plenty of opportunities to listen to the words. Hi, and welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chandley, and this is Caitlin Vescoy. We're going to tell you the activities that we have for you today at Shell Point. I do want to remind everybody before I start that Monday, November 2nd, is today, and activity sign-up day goes on. So make sure you make your way to a service desk, either at the Woodlands or the Island, and sign up for the coming activities. We're going to start with men's match play tennis today at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. That begins at 8 o'clock. Now from 8 until 5, you'll find the mobile mammography uh, bus at the Village Church. 8.45, we have virtual bowling at the Ac Resident Activity Center. At 9.15, billiards will be played at the Resident Activity Center. And at 9.15, we have the Lollygaggers Paddlers going out from the kayak storage. And our last 915 activity is pottery with instruction available. That's down in the pottery studio on the island. At 10 o'clock, the men's match play tennis will be at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. Also at 10 o'clock, we have our Suzy Q boat heading to Matanzas on the Bay. You do need to sign up for those trips. The Parkinson's Enrichment Group will be at King's Crown at 1015. And at 1030, we have a Disciple Men's Bible Study Group going on in the game room of the Woodlands. We have a table tennis playing clinic in the Tarpon Room at 1045. And we have a Health Connections class at 1130. It's Bar Ball Edition. That's in the health club. It's currently full. That concludes the morning. Continuing into the afternoon, and here's Caitlin. Well, thanks, Bev. We have Mahjong starting at 12 o'clock in the Sable Room at the Woodlands. We move to 1245 for a Health Connections class, Senior Self-Defense that's held in the health club on the island, and that one is currently full. Advanced table tennis will be in the tarpon room in the island tunnel at 1.15. And Samba the card game will be in the resident activity center at 1.15. Our last 1.15 activity is tone chimes. They'll be practicing in the osprey room on the island. The model train room is open today from 1.30 to 3.30. That's in the train room down in the island tunnel. We move to 145 for a Health Connections class, Balance and Mobility Training for Beginners. That's Session A in the Health Club. Two o'clock is the time for the BDI Beat Club to meet in the Oak Room at the Woodlands. And another Health Connections class, Pilates Stretch at three o'clock in the Health Club on the island. Shell Point Singers Rehearsal will be held in the Choir Room of the Village Church at 315. And at 5 o'clock, the singles table is available at the Crystal Dining Room. No reservation is required. At 6.30, we have beginner square dancing in the health club on the island. Also at 6.30, duplicate bridge will be in the Woodlands Game Room. We conclude our Monday with 7.30 square dancing in the health club on the island, which is currently full. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hi, I'm Terry Koleff with your Academy information for Monday, November 2nd. At 10.15, talking is the new typing. Dictation on Apple devices continues in the Manatee Room on the island. At 10.30, Anatomy of Words continues in the Oak Room of the Woodlands, and they welcome everyone. At 1.15, Got Pictures will be taking place in the Technology Teaching Center on the island, and sign-up is required. 
at 1.15, the First World War continues and the social center on the island. Menus for Monday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is chicken parmesan with angel hair and broccoli. The dinner special is old home cooking night for $13.95. And the soup of the day is beef noodle. In the Island Cafe for lunch, the special is a mile-high corned beef sandwich with coleslaw for $7.75. The dinner special is sweet and sour fish with white rice and green beans for $8.75. And the Palm Grill is closed on Mondays. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm David Pavey, and with me is Renee Maxwell. We're here to talk about Alpha 2016. This is a 10-week program that begins on the 12th of January and runs every Tuesday evening through the 15th of March. Each evening comprises three segments. We begin at 4.30 with a, a cooked meal provided by the Palm Grill. This is offered to us by the Village Church and so there are no charges for participants. After the meal, we watch a video where an English pastor gives a, a rather a carefully and wonderfully prepared lecture on the uh, basics of Christianity, really. And following that, we break up into small groups and discuss what we've seen and heard and, and where we are on our journey. This is a program that's underwritten by the church because we feel it's very important in reviewing our, the basics of the Christian faith, but it's not a recruiting tool for the church, as you'll, will become clear in just a moment. I have three pieces of literature here to show you. One is a little bookmark, and these are available in the church lobby for people to pick up. This is a schedule of the, the, the lecture titles and the, the gatherings. Then we have a little invitation that you can give to your friends. And this should show up on your bulletin board in your courts very soon. Now, Renee, it's good of you to join me today. You did Alpha, I think, for the first time last year. Well, you're a person of faith, so what was it that brought you to Alpha? Well, thank you for having me here today, and I'm uh, very fortunate to be here. Um, what brought me here? Well, I, so many people through my years here have been talking about Alpha every year at this time, and I thought, well, maybe I should take a chance at that, because I am a person of faith, and I thought, well, let's see what this is. So I did, and it was a wonderful experience from the beginning to the end. In fact, we were looking forward to every Tuesday coming around the corner. Was everybody on the same level you are on your journey when you come to your small groups? I think we were all in our own little journey, uh, but I think basically we were all pretty much people of strong faith. Good. Mm -hmm. and, and so where do you go to church normally? And some of those people I wanted to add to were um, of the other faiths, but still Christian. And it was, yeah. it was a good mixture. Uh, I go to St. Colin Kill at this point. But um, I often, as I mentioned to you several different times, I, I love the village church. I love the pastors here. I love the people of the church. Uh, I have never, um, I've had wonderful experiences. And every year I look forward to the women's Bible study. They're always very welcoming. Everyone is welcoming. And, and I'm amazed at the generosity of the, of the people of this church. And I always say to them, uh, let me know about that because I want to add to that. Historically, the Alpha program which is shown in, a, a used rather, in about 160 different countries, I think, around the world, and, and by every major denomination, actually, in the United States. Uh, it seems to be of special appeal uh, to people who have questions about Christianity, uh, or others who are young in the faith or more experienced in the faith but want to review the basics. Others are looking for ways to make new friends, and in, in your case, uh, you mentioned that even the, when you have eight people around the table for a hot meal, uh, you develop friendships there with people who were from Shell Point but you hadn't really known before. 
You do, and that's another big part. I think having a meal together, uh, and there's so many people at the, at the table, and each week I always try to get at a different table. I was mentioning too at one time, as I do a lot of times, that there's so many uh, ways here at Shell Point to be able to uh, meet wonderful people, yeah. and this is another way. I mean, they're strong people of faith, and um, just the experiences to be with all, all of us, to share a meal, and then from there, my favorite part is the discussion group. I happen to um, be very fortunate to end up in a wonderful group last year. There are probably about 10 of us. Some of us knew each other very well. Um, some of us didn't, and so we made an, you know, a strong acquaintance at that point, too. That's good. So everybody gets something out of it according to where they are on their journey. And then the lectures by Nikki Gumbel are in themselves uh, both instructive and sometimes entertainment because some of his illustrations are are priceless, I find. <laughs> they were. He's, he's, uh, he's very good. He's quite um, the communicator. He gives us a lot of, of things for thought. Good. So think about Alpha 2016. We'd love to have you come or maybe uh, have a friend of yours come. You can bring somebody, you can send somebody, give them an invitation, pick this literature up at the church and uh, Use it well, please. And, and God bless you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to Village Church Connections. And that's all we have time for on today's show. Be sure to watch again tomorrow when we'll see some highlights from last week's Hometown Hoedown. And we'll get a word about the annual golf tournament coming up soon later this month. Until then, this has been Shell Point Today for Monday, November 2nd. I'm Adam Brown, and on behalf of everyone here at SPTV, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.